Well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you guys an easy way to get some of your local frequencies for your air band. Now, these are not air band right here. These are more specific frequencies that they use at the airport. Um, I made a zone for that specifically, as well as I came over here and put in all of the air band. Let me get my mouse over here. I have put in all of them for the Van Nuys Airport. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go through. I'm going to pull up the local airport and we're going to put in Burbank, which is another airport near me. And I'm going to show you guys how to use this program, everything, how to actually set it up so it scans as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through all of this and make sure you guys can get all of your local airband channels going. Okay, so to start this, I like to go to radio reference. This actually is a great place for getting frequencies for other things, uh, especially for things within your city. It's not always necessarily, um, you know, uh, on repeater book or some of these other networks that people like to go to. Uh, and I like to come here and actually check their databases. So what we're going to do is we're gonna actually going to come to the frequency database. They changed it a little bit. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to search. So I will search. Los Angeles. We're in LA County. Now, as you guys can see, here are all the different things. We got uh, sheriff and all this. We got a bunch of things. You can also search your airport. So we have actually in this list, the Los Angeles World Airports. So here's LAX. Well, we can actually do LAX. Here's Van Nuys right below it. Um, you can also search for the airport directly. So if we wanted to search the airports and all of that, we can search those. Here's some other ones. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's fire. Sir, I lost where we were. All right, so I'm going to search again since I lost it. I'll just search Burbank Airport. So here's all the airports for here, Hollywood Burbank. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go through the airport operations real quick. Actually, we could skip those. We're actually going to go down to, those are the actual frequencies. So if we go back to my configuration here and we go back to the channels, I put in some of those channels right here. These are the frequencies of the operations for the there. And now these are AM. So if you see, these are some of these are P25NX, DN, FM. So these are the frequencies you put in as your channels. Obviously, we can't use the P25 or NXDN on our radios. But here are the AM frequencies. So Burbank ATIS arrivals. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our CPS. Always make sure you go tools, options, and then make sure that your AM band is checked. That will add the AM air over here on the left. So we're just going to come down here, double click, and let me just get that. One, three, five, one, two, five. If you hit tab or you go to the next line after that, it'll automatically add the remaining zeros. And this is Burbank, so B U R for Burbank, A T I S. Oops. AR for arrivals. And I can click OK. And we can go through and add each one of these. So what we'll do is we can actually come back to this list, grab the next one for ATIS departures. So 134, I'll add this one as well, 134.5. But I'm not going to add all of them. I'm just showing you guys the process. 
it is a little tedious sometimes, but it pays out in the end. And then oops, departures. Okay, make sure it says add here when you actually do create the channel. Because if you don't have this add on scan, it will not add it to the scan list when you actually start to scan them. And I will show that working here uh, in a moment. I'm actually going to, I have my, I'm not programming my radio with this. I already programmed it. Uh, I don't have a cable long enough to go all the way where the ra uh, radio is. But I will show you guys the radio working and it actually scanning through all of the uh, air, air band. So it will go through Van Nuys. <clears throat> Now, I created just a general scan list, so we have one for the Van Nuys frequencies that I added. Now, to create a scan list, you just double click, create a name, add the channels you want, and you can hit OK. Then make sure you go back to those channels on the channel list and add the scan list right here where it says scan list. Now what we're also going to do is we're going to come over here to optional settings. We're going to come to our key functions. And two things we need to set. One here is AM, FM. So that's going to be P2 and scan. These are two things we want to have set. Now, when we have scan set up as one of these, we can actually scan through our regular frequencies, our channels, as well as scanning through all of our uh, AM frequencies or FM frequencies for that matter. So if we wanted to, just the same way as we did this, uh, we can actually come over here, go to FM, and add your local FM stations, your favorite radio station, whatever. So you can actually listen to that as well on this. If you're not in your vehicle, you're in a, your ham shack, you want to listen to a radio, you can put in your local FM radio stations here. Now, what I'm going to do is I am, let's see. I'm going to get the thing set up here for a second. As you guys can see here on my screen, we have the uh, radio set up and we're actually on the regular channels here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit P2 here, FM mode selected. So you can see that if I had an FM channel, it would be on that. I'm gonna go to AM air A. So I push that against them there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit P3 and it's gonna start scanning through the frequencies of what's going on. And as you can see there, I have it very low, so you probably can't hear the audio, but you can actually see it is scanning through those frequencies and picking up the communications that are going on with the air band. You wanna turn this off. You can just hit scan again. Now, if you wanna change the channel, you can use your channel knob here. manually change through the channels. And if you wanted to go back, airband is now disabled. <laughs> 